people! Welcome back here to the channel Stapa Olha Azul and Super Academico and today I'm going to continue our playlist from the book New Rules of Sociological Method from Anthony Giddens and I have some news for you I finished the book I am done <laughs> I'm done with this book done in a, a way that I say that I I finished so I'm not going to finish my uh, uh, the playlist today but I will I already finished the book and so I know how it ends <laughs> well it's not a story it's a theoretical book so let's continue uh, before we begin don't forget to subscribe to the channels uh, give the like in both channels comments share and if you can take a look at the description to this to to see the other things that we have available musics and other contents so let's go we reached we, the chapter three the reproduction no sorry the production and reproduction of social life production and reproduction of social life he begins with the the title order power conflicts Durkheim and Parsons so Durkheim and Parsons are two classical philosophers sociologists I mean uh, Durkheim is one of the fathers of sociology and Parsons is one of the first sons a follower of the, the the type of sociology that Durkheim initiated in France he continued in the United States it's called uh, the functionalism functionalism it's uh, the sociology of the function function so there is uh, a big a big uh, highlight here about Durkheim and his the rules of sociological method that is one of his books one of his works which uh, of course i already said that in other videos in the in other video in the playlist new rules of sociological method is a reference directly from the uh, the title from the book from uh Dukheim. rules of sociological method so the new rules rules i think in the way i understand the, this book that uh giddens is trying to collaborate with a new kind of a method, new kind of methodology, as we said before, that value uh, the 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 position uh, of the lay person and uh, the, the lay people, and so in this way he presents here uh, a little bit about the the Dirkheim method, which is I already said to establish a social fact from the point where the fact is universal the fact is uh, is like a force itself to the individual and it can be uh, it can be analyzed as a as a thing as a, an, an object we now know that's not possible but he started a tradition in sociology where uh, it's it's thought that's it comes from the positivism, the positivism from Augusto Conte, which uh, says that it's uh, it's possible for us to analyze the the subjects and the, the teams from so social uh, social environments in the same way that we analyze and observe uh, a thing uh, in the nature. Parsons discerns a parallel between Weber's treatment of action and Durkheim's concern with internalized moral obligation, which he then applies to provide a general resolution of Hobbes' problem of order. What is this problem? Hobbes. Eh? Uh, Thomas Hobbes was a philosopher from the 16th century, I think, 16th or 17th and I'm not sure now one of, uh, he's one of the fathers of the the, the modern uh, political uh, philosophy thinking 
uh, he's famous for creating the theory of the 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 of the the states as an uh, uh, some kind of a, a creature that is created by by our, uh, by the 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 cession of the the freedom of the individuals to the state, né, to the, the creature that is the state, can be a king, for example. In this this uh, decision of the, the freedom, the the state, uh, the the king or the parliament acts in name in the name of the person. So he established like a a problem that says that. In, in to have order in society you need to surrender your freedom and part of your freedom at least because when people are free yeah, by themselves they tend to be violent so this is the the belief uh, that the the man is the wolf of man wolf of man you probably already heard that somewhere uh, this has two major consequences. One, the thesis that voluntarism can be incorporated in social theory through the axiom that values. So, um, the, the belief is that the choices that we made voluntarily can be uh, accepted as an axiom, as a, 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 a undeniable undeniable truth by uh, the values that are elaborated by the the people so in a society someone that acts in a way that voluntarily voluntarily <laughs> by choice the person becomes uh, a, a, a example in society some something like that and two the other consequence the assumption that Conflicts of interest in social life centers upon the relation between the individual, the abstract actor, and society, global moral community. So uh, they try; they are trying to deal with the problem of the individual in the one side with his choices, and the society in the other side with the the impositions of society. So in a society where is value the, the individualism. It's more like to accept the the theory that the voluntarism works to um, motivate the action in the society. In a society where uh, it's more like to accept the the, the impositions, né, the, the the restrictions the restrictions of society to the individual, uh, the theory tends to develop that uh, this is. The, the the better way to conduct conduct society so okay i i think i hope i was clear so voluntarism is the uh, items voluntarism it's a personality interjected values voluntarism which appears prominence in persons or the work the structure of social action seems to disappear from his major position as described in the social system so parsons began believing in the the action of the individual or the, the person the one person and then transitioned his theory to his position to a a more uh, a more influenced society by the system the system Voluntarism is, is counterposed to positivism. Uh, for Parsons, the very same values that compose the consensus universal as interjected by actors are the motivating, motivating elements of personality. So, is the belief that the personality is individual, but it's influenced by the system, by the society? that surrounds the person the individual in individual in society next item Hobbes problem of order again a clash between the purposes of individual actors and the interests of the collectivity so again 
it's supposed that there is a conflict there. Depends on the society. A society that has a more imposed value of individualism, you have, uh, it will have a, a more conflictuous society in this matter of the, the wills of different people. If you have a society where uh, the, the value of the, the, collective, the collectiveness, collectiveness is more prominent, so uh, it, will be, it won't be the, the conflict of individuals, but more likely to be conflict by, of, uh, of groups, right? Durkheim's treatment of anomie offers some recognition of interest conflicts. Anomie, it's the concept where Durkheim says that uh, the society values are not present or are not enough present inside the individual. So the values of the society is not in the individual enough to motivate him to work with the society, to, to feel part of the society. So he, he would say in his work, uh, suicide, the suicide. That uh, it, that's that's a reason for uh, for suicide in many societies. Again, persons, Duhaim, the conflicts that are predicted upon these, and the power alignments with which they are interlaced. So, and you have to you have to understand that this kind of conflicts imagined by Duhaim and followed by persons are conflicts that make sense in the kind of society where some things, some values, some, some, uh, some beliefs are present, so the individuals believe that they are uh, more important in a way of, uh, than the others, than the other individuals. But in the same way, in the same, in the same environment, there is the belief that the system, uh, the, 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 conjunct, the, the group of laws, uh, culture, or traditions in the society has to be valued too. So there is a, this kind of conflict. The next uh, author that we will develop in this discussion is Karl Marx. So uh, for, for uh, the, the Karl Marx line of thought, this kind of conflict is the result of the, 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 the class struggle, uh, the, the struggle between classes in the, uh, the society with the economic background. So it's not the same thing. The conflict is for other, another reason. So I will not develop now, I think, because the video is almost 15 minutes, I don't think it's it's good to develop some kind of another line of thought. I will develop some thoughts about what uh, Durkheim in person said, because I want you to keep yeah, keep tracking, yeah, keep watching the, the the playlist in a way that you can understand the different uh, the different aspects of what Giddens is developing. And, and so, uh, for these two great actors, great sociologists, and uh, Durkheim and Parsons, the society is like uh, a body, a system, uh, a body system that conducts, in a way, the individuals that are part of this body. And this conduction uh, this drives to certain behaviors and these behaviors are like when it's according to the expected by the society, the individual can prosper in some way. Uh, can prosper, can live his life without problem or the minimal problem possible. But when there is a conflict between what the individual wants and what the society is allowed to, so you have the, the, the conflict and so the individual becomes some kind of a, I don't want to say disease, but since they believe the, 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 
the society to be a body, someone that uh, that goes in the wrong direction and seems to be some kind of disease, as a pathology. Uh, Durkheim even use this kind of a word or concept of pathology, social pathology, to say that in a society where many people uh, goes uh, uh, goes in, in the different kind of interests and is driven by other kind of interests becomes some kind of a, a deviance uh, the word is that deviance for from what the society expects so and Parsons goes the same way that's that's why it's called functionalism the, the function of the system is what becomes the most important thing in the system to maintain the system working as a body as a whole and so in this way the the the, the conflict is seen as something that needs to be corrected and not some kind of uh, systemic problem as like Karl Marx will see as a systemic problem and so uh, it will like uh, give some some knowledge to to politicians uh, to, to managers to people in control of the, the parts of the system in the society to keep uh, the system working keep the system functioning and that's like uh, the way uh, the Giddens is setting the things in a big theory just to say afterwards and uh, later that uh, if you don't value the individuals if you don't value what the the, the, the lay person says and believes you are uh, alienating you know you are creating a, a system that is doomed to fail because uh, the person uh, the individual the subjects they we we like to be to be heard we we matter individually as much as as collectively collectiveness as call it as a group sorry as a group so that's the video for today i hope you enjoy thank you for keeping watching the playlist in both channels and don't forget to subscribe like the video uh, share share comments and take a look at the description below to see the other things that we have to offer in our channels thank you and bye bye